afternoon guys right i just want to go through one of the best purchases i have made in my full-time motorhome life um i was gonna say career ain't exactly a career is it the best purchase i've made for actual cost wise so it's not too much of a cost and the amount of money it saves me is ridiculous um, and that is my lpg safe fill bottles they are so much better a million times better than color color okay they have got many locations you can just pop into random places a petrol station a, a camping shop and all that that's great but lpg these safe fill lpg bottles are hands down the best thing i've bought because i do not worry about gas prices whatsoever now if i want hot water it's on all day if i want if i want heating on all day if yeah, i do not worry about the prices because it's so cheap to fill these bottles it's unreal um the main three points against Cala, which are a plus for the safe fill is the first and foremost is actually having to with a Cala bottle you actually have to take it out of the box out of your cupboard unstrap it walk it all the way into the store wherever you're going the forecourt the the go outdoors wherever you're going you then have to swap it over bring your one back chuck it back in strap it all back up then connect it the second thing is the price the price was costing me for a six and a half kilo color light was costing me 24 pound a time and i can fill a seven kilo bottle for between 650 and eight pounds depending on the forecourt depending on the price of the forecourts what if you go into like a morrison's or a sainsbury's to fill up lpg or if you go to a shell then you know there's a big price difference um i say big price but compared to the two there is a big price but actually compared to color it's zero so that's the second thing is price and the third thing is with the color bottles you don't know when you're full empty three quarters how much you've got left in there you can get these stupid sticker things and put them on the side but again they're only hit and miss and it's not it's not accurate you can also get this there's the gauge on there and again that's not accurate i can never say that word properly um but with these safe fill bottles they're translucent they're not like glass but you can hold a torch up to the side of it and you can actually see the level you give it a little shake you can see the level of your lpg um and you can see actually how much you've got in there you think okay i've only got that much left that's going to last me and you get to use you get used to knowing okay that's going to last me another two days so you know what you've got and you know you're going to need to fill up so there's so many plus points but hands down if you don't want to worry about the cost of being warm, having hot water, having all your food, having your heating, everything, LPG safe fill bottles are the way to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the actual bottles. I'm going to undo mine and switch it because I've got two. I'm going to switch it over to the other bottle because I want to refill this bottle and I'm going to show you how to refill them. As you can see, these are my two safe fill bottles carry two at a time so I can carry a combined fuel amount of 29 litres of LPG before we go any further is you don't need to change your gas connections they work exactly the same as color so your connections are all the same exactly like a color bottle it's just the actual connection here these two notches are what allow the gun the LPG gun at the forecourt to lock on and twist round so let me turn my bottles off uh, this is the safe fill bottle so let me put that there this is translucent so you can hopefully let me make sure my torch is on so you can actually see I don't know what you can see here but you should be able to see the liquid there you go you can clearly see that the liquid bouncing around so I'm about there. So I know that's how much fuel LPG I've got left. So obviously I can fill up all this, which I'm gonna do. I don't need to, but I'm gonna do it anyway because I wanna show you guys how to fill them up. And I'm in the area where there's a, there's a station, so I might as well do it anyway. So, always good to have a torch just at the side. And basically, all you do which I'll show you at the pump, but all you do is get the gun 
you've got two little notches on the gun clicks into this these bits here and you twist the gun you twist part of the gun lock it in open your bottle and then you start filling once you filled up you lock your bottle down you twist back the other way pull the gun off pop it back on the on the, the holder go and pay so i don't have to remove these from the locker i'm only removed this just to show you um but as you can see one finger and it's pretty much half full that's no problem they're so light plastic you can see what's going on you know i can't recommend them enough i really can't recommend them enough so with this extension because some of the guns have now got um like a shield around the gun to protect you from a little because when you undo the gun there's a bit of a back pressure of lpg so this little shield protects you from that won't harm you just you know this is just their health and safety but this some of the shields they they hit against here which is a bit of a pain so you get this you just screw this in again i just called up the guy and asked for this so that just gives you an extra inch or so a couple of inches to bring out so the gun can connect here rather than in here as you can see it just brings it out to about here instead of the the notches there so then you connect there bang that doesn't hit that's perfect all right so i'm going to chuck this back in and then i'm going to head down to the garage and i'm going to film as best i can on the forecourt That's the gun, line them up with the notches, and then good to go. As you can see, so you line them up with the notches, spin it around, lock it down, done. Ready? So that's him with the notches, spin it around, lock it on, give it a wiggle, open the bottle. Once the bottle's open, press the button. Check it out. You just saw that clicked off itself. That's the auto stop clock or auto re regulator, whatever you call it. Right, turn the bottle This is where this comes in use because there'll be a bit of gas coming out of here. So you pull that off and you watch the gas. That's the gas, that's why that's there. Spin it back round. Pull it off. Done. All locked. That one's full. That one's full. Lock it back up. Simple as that, for up LPG. And it costs next to nothing. How good is that? For 7.97 litres, that cost me £5.57. Can't grumble at that price at all. I mean, I'm, both of mine are full now. There's 29 litres full. Um, and you saw it cut off, so it's all safe. No problems. Done, dusty. Seriously, hands down, best purchase I've made. So, catch you later, guys.